My next guest lost 80 pounds despite hating to exercise. She did it one step at a time. I'm Jenny Hutt. I host Just Jenny on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. So around 11 years ago, I lost about 70 pounds by changing my diet and moving my body. I hated moving my body. Sometimes I would get on the treadmill and I would cry. I was so angry that I had to exercise that I would actually cry and sometimes scream. A little more than a year ago, I was reading about how moving improved brain health and brain chemistry. So I was like, okay, it's not about my weight, it's not about the scale, it's not about what I ate, it's not even about like muscle definition, it's purely about my brain chemistry improving. I can get behind that. The goal was just to move a little bit every day. But then my friend Kim said to me, what if you commit to doing 10,000 steps a day? What if that becomes your movement goal each day? Well, making this game of doing 10,000 steps a day fully changed my life and changed my perspective on movement. If you can walk, you can get your steps in. Some days I will walk outside and I'll walk outside for an hour. Great, I can get all my steps done. Other days, I will just roam around my house and little by little chip away at the 10,000 steps. I take my dogs outside, there's 200 steps. I go up and down the stairs to get something that one of my kids forgot to bring down, there's another 200 steps. All of a sudden, I craved moving my body. How did I go from being somebody who hated moving her body to the point where I would have rather gone to root canal to someone who now has to exercise or I'll go bananas? Separating movement from sort of the diet and exercise thing, magic, truly magic. And I'm not special. So if that could happen to me, then I know it can happen to you. Way to go, Jenny. Jenny Hutt, you're awesome. Thanks for the tips. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market. Panic about COVID. And how Panic do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I could change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.